we all agree that we want to solo and create freely with the instrument, but how do we do that? I have a lot of heroes of mine that play like this. Or this. But how do we get there, right? So let me propose something. So for me, that idea of being able to freely create with a guitar is huge. What I'm gonna propose is a slightly different approach than a lot of people take. So this is going to be a little bit of a guitar challenge for seven days. And I really believe that within these seven days we can change a lot. I'm gonna show you a few exercises that are super simple, but it's very important to really follow through with these exercises so you really nail it. I suggest if you're up for it, we'll do a challenge of seven days where you practice this and then you drop a comment and tell me how it started and how you're doing now. Before we dive in, please click the like button and subscribe. It would really mean a lot. Let's do it. It's very important to understand the issue. So for me, a lot of people are trying to solo, but they're not looking at this with the right attitude. So we need to first of all understand what we're trying to do exactly and how are we going about it and have very specific and clear goals. So what I'm suggesting right now is breaking it into a few sections. First, we're going to use one fingering, one shape in one area. But we will use it in a cre but we will we will we will use it in a creative way. So we will play it over a chord progression. I'm gonna take the song Sunny in the key of A minor, so we'll be in A minor pentatonic. So we can really use A minor pentatonic. Later on we can also use different harmonic ideas, but for now we'll use A minor pentatonic. Alright, check this out. Play the thing. This is 110 BPM. Bam, we have the track. If you want it, it's free here. Eight notes. So here, I'm just playing the scale. One and two and three. Just the position, one position. Now this is of course an exercise, right? But it's important to be comfortable. Now, second challenge, just stop. And start. Next thing is adding question. What is your favorite nylon string guitar? I have one nylon string that I think is decent from when I used to play classical music, but I'm actually in the market of finding a really cool nylon string guitar that I can play more stuff because I'm really into the sound. So please drop some comments, hopefully with not too expensive stuff. So uh, it sounds good, but not too crazy. Thank you. A change of direction. What I mean by that is not hitting the top note and descending, but in the middle of the position changing direction. So pause. Next thing here, and again, just eight notes, very simple, one position. It's not a solo yet, but it will give us this basis for improvisation and creativity. So I'm going to add the idea of repetition. Very simple, very clear. Two, three, ah. Uh. So this is not a solo yet, but this is kind of seeding the, the information in my ears, fingers and ideas because I think the flow is one of the things that people seek oftentimes when they're soloing and this is something that oftentimes is hard to get. Now of course, transcribing, learning lines, singing, understanding what you're doing, these are all important things to do, but this idea of just kind of improvising with some limitation and a very clear construct really um, allows a lot of freedom and actually pretty fast, so this is why I kind of want to share this information. All right, the same thing now, the same idea, but with triplets, check this out. If you want to practice these ideas on this A minor loop, I created a few tracks for free. You can just download them from the website. So, scale, just one position. Okay, same thing, pauses. And 
again, I'm not even taking into, um, I don't think about the harmony as much right now. I'm just kind of playing the scale very exercise -y. Right, and I'm feeling this tacky ta tacky ta tacky ta tacky ta. And if this is too fast, no problem. You can just slow it down. I'll I'll have a few tempos that you can download on my uh, website for free, so you can kind of mess with it, and you can of course create your own loops as well with with no problem. Okay, so you see what I'm doing. I'm doing eight notes. I kind of feel it. I'm trying to understand the subdivision, and I'm doing these three actions: pause, literally stop, change of direction, and repetition. Very very simple, and it's, I'm not treating it like the solo of my life yet. I'm really treating it as understanding and trying to absorb the information from this exercise in order to allow me to solo very soon. Okay, and now I'll do the last one, which is 60 notes. Maybe it's a little fast with this, but just check it out. One, two, so. Two. Just position. Right, so again, this is a little faster, but it's the same idea of stopping, repetition, and changing of direction. Again, this is not a solo just yet, but it's starting to allow me the space and motion in order to create. Now, what I'm going to do, this was really on one position. I'm going to connect two positions. So I'll go back to eight notes, so it's like really chill and, and clear. And I'll connect these two positions, and I'll try to be a little bit more musical, but still again, Framework, motion, repetition, and change of direction. And pauses, so. So, first, just framework, right? Eight notes, moving between the two positions, and try to move between them in different places, so. Change of direction. Now repetition. Maybe adding the blues. getting closer to almost a solo. Okay, now I'm going to do the same idea where I'm playing eight notes, but using five positions. So just mapping these five positions with the eight notes. Uh, two, two, uh. Maybe sliding here, I can slide it. Just making sure I see them. And again, in tempo, over a song. Scale, change direction, pause. So you see, it's not music just yet, but it's really kind of very coming very close to being music. And this allows this framework of creativity. Now I'm going to kind of skip a little bit. I would do the same idea again with eight notes and then I'll do the same thing with triplets and 60 notes. Note that I would spend quite a bit of time on each one of the subdivisions. So for example, I would spend the whole week potentially just playing eight notes really slow and then 
pushing the tempo maybe a little bit, seeing what's comfortable, but making sure that the framework is 100% clear, making sure that you can express this idea of stopping, changing direction, pausing and repetition within these eight notes while being aware of the structure of the song. Now I'll do the same thing with triplets, check it out. Little framework. And I'm going to skip to Scale, change direction with the blue line. Scale. Now the same thing with 16 note. Again, it's not a solo just yet, but it's starting to go in that direction. 16. The idea of the flow, the idea of seeing the framework, and the idea of using these simple ideas, and maybe, again, you can add the blues, of course, later on we can add harmonic information, so to express more of these changes, but I think this idea of taking something so simple and so deep and in a very positive way as A minor pentatonic, five notes all across the guitar and hearing it with eight notes, hearing it with triplets, hearing it with 16, and not just saying, oh, it's an exercise, saying like it's an exercise, but I'm still trying to make music with it, even with the restriction of, you know, changing direction, pausing, repeating ideas, and so on and so forth. And my challenge to you again is take these uh, minus one, this track, or create your own and try for a week to do this. Just stay, you know, do half an hour of eight notes a day, just that. That will help so much. Or again, if you're comfortable, you can do triplets or 16, whatever it is, but stick with a week just that every day you practice this idea and you'll see how much flow you can get. And of course, you can connect that with lines and leaks and all these ideas that you know beforehand, but I think seeing it in a, in a clear way helps so much. So I hope uh, this will uh, shed a little bit of light and, and kind of help you be more free. And I'm really curious, um, um, you know, how are the results for you? If indeed a few days or maybe it takes a little longer, of course, um, I know and we all know that music is a, it's a process so we need to take time but I do believe that within a few days, a week, we can get actually a lot of stuff um, kind of lined up and, and in very positive progression. So thanks again for listening. I hope this was interesting and fun and I'll see you very soon. Peace out.